Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Made with Love. My name is Heather and today for supper I'm going to just make a quick and easy um, macaroni ham tomato pasta. So I'm using this half of the bowtie pasta. I just have a can of just regular crushed tomatoes. Are these diced? Oh, these ones are diced. Diced or crushed, it doesn't really matter. Uh, these ones are not have the extra spice in them. I prefer the ones with more spices, the herb and spice ones, but this is all I have right now. And one small can of the cooked ham. So I've got my water boiled, ready to pour my pasta in to cook. So I'll add my pasta, and then I will cut my ham, and then I will be right up for the next step. Okay, so I got the can ham open. I just go slow and steady around the can until I get it open. Let's see, today I had no trouble with it. So I didn't film myself opening it because a lot of times I the little key thing comes undone and I just, you know, one of those things you just don't want to film yourself trying to open. Okay, so now I'm just going to take my ham and I'm just going to slice it. I'm just going to slice it into nice, some nice chunks. I always find it easier to do, to do it this way. But there I guess you cut your ham however you want. Just want some nice cubes. are a bit thick I can just even cut the slices a little bit thinner like that. so I'm just going to continue to slice up this ham I should have grabbed a large knife but you know, I thought it was a the size of the can sometimes tricks you to how thick the ham is really going to be Pasta is coming along really good. So I'm just going to continue to dice the ham. And so the pasta should be done in about you know, another three or five minutes. So I'll be back when the pasta is actually cooked. Oh, my camera tipped and I didn't even notice. Oh, it's okay. I was just slicing my ham. I don't know when it tipped over like that. That's my new camera stand. That's the new tripod I just built, and I don't know, it's still tipping on me like my other one. Maybe my, maybe it's not broken. Maybe I just don't know how to build them and keep them, you know, secure. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just gonna continue slicing my ham, let the pasta cook, and then I will be back. All right, so like I said, this is just such a quick, easy dinner to make. So I've got my pasta is cooked and drained. Pour half in because I like to find it easier when making this if I just do half at a time, even though I'm going to eventually have it in this whole bowl. So I'm going to change my mind here. I'm just going to pour this back in here. I'm going to add the mayonnaise while it's in the pot. The pot is still hot, that kind of makes it easier for the mayonnaise to incorporate into the pasta. So I've got about a good half a cup or so. gonna do this in my other bowl but I don't know sometimes it's just easier to make it all into one pot and then I'll pour it into my glass dish when I go to put it in the fridge this pot is just a little bit bigger okay, so I got the tomatoes and the things mixed in 
mayonnaise and the pasta. Now I'm just going to add in the chopped ham. You don't have to make it with the mayonnaise. I just find the mayonnaise just kind of adds a little bit of creaminess to it. out of my way, bringing this bowl back. Just gonna pour it all into here. And I'm just gonna put a piece of saran wrap on the top and I'm gonna put this in the fridge for a few hours to really chill, but that is my quick and easy um, pasta, tomato, and ham salad. Okay, I guess my camera wants to come off the stand. Again, I just wanna say thank you so much to everybody who's been subscribing to my channels and watching my videos, and I'll see you in the next ones, bye.